Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to part 2 of the valve cover gasket uh, replacement. Um, so, we still got that one bolt left. I got a couple wrenches that will probably help me get that last one at the bottom left that I couldn't get to yesterday. So, let's get to getting that bolt off. Hopefully get the valve cover off and get it clean today. Hopefully in this video or at least today I mean uh, but yeah let's go ahead and head to the garage right now all right back inside or back outside inside the garage so got some extra tools from sister's house this is old stuff that I bought but I just needed to get uh, a 10 wrench 10 or 12 just in case but I think this 10 though Will definitely be the lifesaver today and get that bolt in there out there it is get that bolt in there out hopefully get a better angle for you guys here in a sec hopefully this will kind of give a better look around things um, I mean from this view here We've got some great light today too the Sun is uh, starting to go down but it's still pretty high enough to get some light into the room and I think this wrench is gonna be it gonna get me get us more progress I think I got it really scary right now that I did strip the bolt so that's what happened there because I didn't have the pan in the right spot but wanted to show ow, uh, that I got a couple of these bolts down here all so that one there and then that one there Put them off to the side over there. Only those two. And then the jack will go like right here. Lift the engine up. Those are 14 mill bolts. 14. And then there was the other bolt in there. Okay. I can't really get it. But if you can kind of tell that there's like there should be a bolt there it's this 14 mil one so I got that out now I'm gonna lift the engine up it lifted up from both sides or like the whole engine the right side as well so it doesn't have any strain to the harness or anything and all that cuz I need to get to that bolt down there Ooh, like sweat um, as well I uh, still get the half moons so I need to order that probably tonight and then we'll have to wait for those but we'll probably get to cleaning this if I get the valve cover off today so I haven't gotten the engine up yet so I haven't gotten that bolt out but I need a 2x4 to help me actually lift the engine up correctly so I'll be right back to it once I get a 2x4 from the sister's house. Alright, back inside the house. Um, I had to just stop there because I think I stripped the bolt. Um, couldn't get the car up because I didn't have any safe way to jack the engine up. So I got to go pick up a 2x4 from the sister's place. And then I should be able to smoothly lift the engine up. Uh, get more room and vision to see what I'm working with on that last bolt and if I could uh, get it out with it being semi stripped um, but yeah if not I'm gonna have to uh, think of a magical way 
or a good technique to get it out. Um, but you guys will probably be back in a second um, with me inside the garage um, figuring that out with the engine up. So, see you guys then. Alrighty, got the engine lifted up a little bit here. Um, kind of gives me some room. So, let's get into it. Uh, hopefully, I get back to you guys in a second here with that bolt off. Hell yes, I got it. Just enough space in there now, lifting up the car to get this socket in there and break open that last bolt, but I think I could. Yep, could loosen it out with my finger. Here we go. Oh, there goes a bunch of oil on there. If you could tell, it's dripping. Right when I pulled this off, too, a big old blob of oil came out with it. There we go. Plop that. Now that I got it off, it's being held up by that bolt at the top middle that I held. I got that last one, number eight. Keep it parallel. Oh, can you tell? Gasket is getting stuck. There's left on there. Okay, I'll leave the gasket there. While I pull the rest of the valve cover out straight up. Oh my goodness, this feels so good to see finally out. Look at all that oil inside there. Get that cleaned out soon. Oh, gotta get that back under there. Oil's dripping. Um, but yeah, get that cleaned out now. Um, wipe down all the surfaces over here too. So get it all nice and clean. And let's get, oh, hold on. I don't have a glove, so I gotta use the hand that it that does have a glove all right here is the culprit here we go oh right there Oof. there we go get the other half moon out up here. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that out. Um, but yeah, progress. Hell yeah. did not want to come off but I got the surface cleaned all around here wiped down with the rag welcome back into the house um, I'm in my room uh, the fiance is outside in the living room so I didn't want to disturb her recording and you know have you guys hear some of that background noise because she's talking to friends um, but yeah I got the valve cover off thank goodness got the engine up um, Got uh, to clean it a little, the valve cover a bit, got the gaskets out. Um, 
Let's see, got that nasty old half moon that I didn't want to come out. Out cleaned out surfaces, so it'll give me a better seal. Um, but yeah, I need to order the half moons, give some time to get it here, um, do a little bit more cleaning on the valve cover, and then we're gonna be closing out the video soon uh, with the valve cover back on, and then maybe get a first start in a while and see if there's any leaks so see you guys soon uh, back inside the garage with the parts and getting ready to put it all back together see you guys in a second here parts in now we get some work done I think I'm ready. I just need to replace all these old ones because I got new ones for these. Okay, got them all. Got the new ones here. We got these in today. So now when I'm tightening them all, I'm going to go from top middle to bottom middle and then middle right to middle left and then top right to bottom left and then bottom right to top left. Sorry, throw my skateboard out here real quick. But we got everything back together as you guys can see. Um, this is gonna be me closing out um, last video, or well, the video you guys are watching right now. So after getting the valve cover on, put everything back together, started the car, and boom, got a bunch of codes, uh, some that are one and three, which I was working on and uh, they're both misfiring so when I started the car it was running really rough shaking a lot I made sure to double check all the bolts uh, make sure I got the motor mounts on tight enough but the misfire caused all the shaking um, to the engine I'm sure so um, in the next video I'll be addressing those two I got spark plugs and already and I've got uh, the coil packs coming in soon so stay tuned for that video coming out probably next week because that's when I'll be getting the coil packs um, to replace because uh, the coil packs um, are pretty bad already so I decided to switch those out um, the spark plug plugs may do the fix but I'd rather just be safe uh, too so I don't have to later get some new coil packs in so I got that going for me um, soon uh, to replace the coil packs. But thank you guys for watching the valve cover replacement. On to uh, getting the spark plugs and coil packs replaced. Uh, don't know how many times I already took this all apart and put it back together. And, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, and hope you liked the video. Leave a comment, subscribe for more, and see you guys next time.